Greetings, everyone. Every May, we recognize the many contributions and strong heritage of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders of various nationalities and ancestry that have sacrificed and served in our Navy. As of December, the Asian American and Pacific Islander community makes up more than 70,000 members of the Department of the Navy's total force. We celebrate the hard work and achievements of Asians and Pacific Islanders who have defended and continue to defend America's freedom through service in our Navy and Marine Corps team. This year's theme of advancing leaders through opportunity reflects our deliberate endeavors to ensure all sailors, Marines, and civilians can advance, grow, and lead without barriers or discrimination. As we continue to build a culture of warfighting excellence, I'm committed to the conscious and intentional effort we must put forth to afford leadership and advancement opportunities for all individuals, including Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. This effort includes recognizing that our nearly 250 years of Navy and Marine Corps history is not perfect, taking the initiative to learn from the past and ensuring that we invest in a force that reflects the nation that we have today. The deep history of the support dates back as far as the Civil War and transcends through both world wars and many major conflicts. During last year's AEPI month, I had the pleasure of naming a future guided missile destroyer after Fireman Second Class at Florida de la Cruz Trinidad, the only Filipino in the U.S. Navy to be awarded the Medal of Honor. This past January, we celebrated the future USS de la Florida Trinidad at the Capitol with retired and active duty service members, senior executives, civilian employees, and government leaders to celebrate the growing accomplishments from the Filipino-American community and to honor the heroic actions of firemen second class Trinidad. One of the many proud members of the Filipino descent in attendance was retired Rear Admiral Eleanor Concepcion Mariano, the first Filipino-American in U.S. Navy history to become a Rear Admiral, and the first woman in the military to serve as White House physician. I announced that Dr. Connie Mariano would continue her connection with the United States Navy and serve as the future ship's co-sponsor, in addition to Trinidad's great-granddaughter, Christine. Our military draws strength from the grit and determination of our people, who come from all races, background, and cultures. I thank each and every one of you for sharing your rich heritage that has positively impacted our nation and our department. And I thank you for your commitment to our Navy and Marine Corps team. 